Hello everyone, my name is Heather. I live in Maui, Hawaii. Um, I've been here for about a year and a half and I work as a behavioral health specialist for the Department of Education here. My line of work has substantially changed since the pandemic has began. Um, so my job is a little bit interesting. I'm kind of like a school counselor, but a little bit different. I work strictly with students who have individualized education plans or IEPs. Um, who all have a documented disability that prevents them from accessing their education. So I pre provide behavioral or therapeutic services to these kids. Um, and that's really hard to do when we're not in person. So initially, I was still going in in person, but they have since asked us all to work from home. The government considers my position essential still. But because um, we're not doing formal instruction, IEP services cannot take place. So they've kind of put the ball in our court and said, hey, what do you guys think you should do during this time? Um, so for me, that's meant just reaching out to all my students and their parents, letting them know that I'm here, we're working, I'm available. Um, I can't provide formal services, but I can be supportive or they can let me know if there is something that would be helpful to them. Um, so I've gotten some replies. It's actually it's been surprisingly hard to get in touch with a lot of people, which is kind of concerning. But yeah, I've been providing like anxiety and stress management resources to parents and I've been setting up sessions with students, um, kind of like telehealth stuff. And my kids range from ages five to 18. So it's been a really big split about what they need. The littler ones, I would say, are kind of struggling more with understanding what's going on or not having autonomy and really being subject to the state of their homes and their parents' abilities. Um, that's been something that's been kind of hard and sad because a lot of our kids don't come from a great home life. Normally, you know, we have very strict and concrete IEP goals that I have to work on, but it's kind of been nice to take a break from that and be like, hey, like, do you need to just have fun today? Like, you just need someone to laugh with you or play a game or just talk about whatever's on your mind. And I've, I've really enjoyed that shift but it has been hard not physically interacting with people I'm very much an in-person like very personal kind of gal and yeah it's tough to not like see their faces or be able to give them a hug like there's so many people I just want to give a hug to right now my whole day-to-day -day life has changed I normally you know go work in a building I actually work two full-time jobs for the state. I work at two different schools. Um, so my job is actually incredibly stressful. Uh, a couple months ago, I was actually thinking of quitting. I'm now incredibly thankful that I didn't. But yeah, I, I, before spring break hit and before this all happened, I wasn't really sure how I was going to make it through the school year with the amount of stress. And my caseload is always growing. And I constantly have needed to be in two places at once. And I constantly, I felt like I'm letting people down. And Moving this all to online has actually made it a little bit easier to manage my very busy schedule. But yeah, other than that, I'm like, I'm a very active person and it's been hard to not be able to see friends. Um, I'm still allowed to hike, swim, surf, and walk. So I do all of those things, but they all have to be solitary, which is a huge bummer. My workload, like I'm, I feel like I'm actually able to handle it at this point, which I haven't felt that way in over a year. And um, I also think that like starting to navigate telehealth is really helpful because that could be the way of the future. So I feel like I'm getting some good skills on how to do play therapy online, how to keep the interest of a five-year-old. <laughs> These things are not easy and this is all new territory for me. Um, so yeah, I do feel it's kind of hard saying there are positives because I know most people don't have a job and they don't have an income and their stress levels are through the roof, but I feel super lucky because I have these massive things taken care of for me. Um, so yeah, I am thankful to be a state employee at this point, but hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you.